I'm going to tell you a story about a girl named Meera. One day, Meera came home from school and she was very excited. Today we learned something fun. She told her mom, "Some things can glide and some things can roll. I want to try it myself." She got her book, ball, and a shiny coin and placed them on the table. First, she grabbed her book and gave it a gentle push. The book moved straight across the table. Wow! The book glides. She smiled. The book has a flat side, and hence it glides. Next, she picked up her ball and gave it a push. The ball turned as it moved. The ball rolls because it's round. Then she took her shiny coin and placed it gently on its thin edge, and then pushed it gently. It rolled like a tiny wheel. The coin's edge is round, and hence it rolls too. Then she placed the same coin flat on the table and pushed it again. This time it moved straight, just like the book. There was no turning. Now it slides. Whoa! The same coin can do both. It just depends on which side I put it on. Now Mia felt like a scientist, and she experimented with few more things. Mira looked around and spotted a balloon. She told the balloon, "You are round too. What will you do?" And gave it a gentle push. Balloon didn't roll. It just wobbled and bounced a little. Hmm. Not all round things can roll. Mira thought. Balloon is round, but it's too light and soft to roll like a ball. Then she saw the doormat. The doormat was flat, but when she pushed it, it didn't slide. It just stayed stuck in its place. Oh, not all flat things can slide either. She sat quietly and thought about everything she had done till now. Okay, things slide when they have a flat side, but also can move easily. Things roll when they have a round side. but they should also turn easily and just like the coin there are some things that can do both